Well, welcome back to Thoughts While Thinking. And remember that these opinions are mine and mine alone and nobody else's and not a way I hope to keep everybody out of trouble except me and I hope I stay out of trouble because I just like peace and harmony. I don't like conflict. But anyway, we're uh, talking about what's going on today and we're trying to think instead of rearranging prejudices, but I guess a little of that cre creeps in. I don't guess you can help that some. But I try to do a, a little difficult thinking and not judging. And when I'm reading the Constitution, and apply it to what's going on today, it seems pretty simple to me. But, uh, you know, there's, there's always those uh, arguments about other stuff. So uh, we're talking about the uh, reversing uh, Roe versus Wade. And, uh, you know, the We the People Amendment, uh, it sets everything uh, uh, for the federal government. And what isn't set in writing uh, at that time for the federal government it belongs to the states, and that's what they did. They sent that uh, Roe versus Wade back to the states where, it, in my opinion, it belongs. And we've been having that uh, uh, fight against uh, states' rights and federal rights uh, ever since way before the Civil War. And uh, I, I guess it's a bigger battle today than it was then because we're just uh, losing our uh, states' rights. And the Tenth Amendment reaffirms that, that the, uh, what is not uh, given to the federal government belongs to the states, and that gives a wide range of it, and that's the reason the Roe versus Wade belongs to the states. And our Bill of Rights and proposed Bill of Rights for corporations and companies and stuff, all in there. And uh, Roe versus Wade is a constitutional issue. It's not, it's not, uh, and the decision wasn't based on uh, abortions. It was based on uh, the Constitution about whether it belonged to the states or the federal government. And uh, we were got to live by the rule of law, and uh, our Constitution is our fi fundamental real rule of law. And uh, so we got to be familiar with that Constitution, and I think most of you people have never read that Constitution, and I think you ought to read what your rights are. And, you know, they're out protesting that uh, Roe versus Wade uh, like it was doing away with abortion. And they are claiming everybody deserves access to affordable abortion and all forms of reproductive care, including the LGBTQ people, and it's an important to our communities and to uh, stay united and demanding we have full autonomy over our bodies. Well, I don't really have an issue with that. If as long as it's decided in the state where it's uh, my friends and neighbors making that decision. And this is a pro-life and pro-choice has been a, uh, an issue here for ages. And it just keeps on being one. And, uh, you know, Roe versus Wade, uh, you know, a lot of those uh, based on some of that is kind of unscientific and it's uh, definitely unconstitutional because it was unconstitutional because it was moved from uh, the state's power to the federal power. And the uh, Bill of Rights and, and uh, stuff gives all that power to the states and it's the state's rights that uh, we're having an issue with. And the right to choose is ought to, ought to be debated in the states and not the federal government because that's where the Constitution puts it. And, but the federal government's been stealing the states' rights uh, since way before the Civil War. And uh, they keep on chipping away at our states' rights. <clears throat> and uh, we keep on losing a little bit at a time. But, you know, I run across this cartoon, and it kind of made me laugh, but it also kind of made me think a little bit. It says, maybe if I identified myself as a, a endangered species, uh, I could live. Well, you know, that's pretty stout, and that's pretty good thinking for uh, something like that. And, you know, uh, and that brings up that, if they can find that uh, bacteria in, uh, on Mars being considered life, and not uh, heartbeat considered life in uh, 
uh, in the United States, that's pretty weird. And uh, we got to think about that. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, uh, if you hear a heart beating, you got a life, whether it's in a uh, embryo or whether it's in a 99-year-old person. If his heart beating, he's alive. And if he's not beating, he's dead. And there ain't no life there. So that's that's where I'm looking at that. And I think uh, I think I, I got that uh, pretty nailed down. But I guess you can parse some words around that and uh, argue with it. And when they uh, overruled that Roe versus Wade, they didn't uh, do away with abortions like they're claiming in the news media and stuff. They just moved it to the states. And uh, you know, our Bill of Rights gives uh, states the uh, authority for that, and that's where it ought to be. And uh, we ha we uh, have the states' rights, and uh, uh, you know, the uh, American uh, principles that are all involved in that, in the pursuit of happiness, and uh, our right to be free and to think, and uh, and the right to have the local people make these decisions, and a Roe versus Wade's. Uh, when they sent it to Washington from the states, uh, that was a, a violation of the Constitution as I read it. And the Bill of Rights support it the way I read it, I guess. I think I understand all that. And, uh, you know, they've been pro-life and uh, pro-choice for ages, and uh, they just keep on hammering about it. And they uh, all got their own right uh, voices, and they all parsing all the words. and. Uh, you know, as long as it's a, a state's rights issue and as long as the states uh, approve of whatever it is, uh, the abortion, uh, uh, however they want to have the abortion law, I don't have an argument with it. The only argument I have is when they move it to Washington and not here locally. And, you know, they uh, some of them are using that Second Amendment to say, my choice, uh, my body, and I got a right to defend my body in any way I can. And they're uh, using that assault weapon and all that stuff to do that. So they're twisting lots of things around. And it's kind of interesting to know. But, you know, we're not talking about doing away with abortions. We're just talking about where we're going to debate, make the debate, and make, pass the law. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they've been... Uh, John Adams uh, in 1775, uh, 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 on the Stamp Act, uh, he said that you're chipping away at the Constitution. And if you lose a little bit, a little bit along, it's going to get greater. And that looks like what was happening. And, uh, you know, when they established that Homeland Security, it just got a lot greater because your uh, constitutional freedom and the liberties just went away big time under that law and under that program and uh, we've got to debate that sometime but right now we're just talking about the state's rights having the right to uh, make the abortion laws and the uh, local people and neighbors uh, make those laws and uh, you know the feds have been trying to federalize the states uh, since the way before the Civil War and it's got more gross than uh, everything ever since. And, uh, you know, our old buddy Mark Twain, he says, sometimes I wonder whether the world is being run by smart people and uh, who are just putting us on or whether they're idiots that uh, really believe this stuff. And that's how I'm kind of looking at all this stuff. It's, it's kind of uh, warping your mind sometimes. And... Uh, with a, we got this old uh, uh, magic uh, revolving door, and uh, we, what it is, you take a lot of money and you uh, pay a lobbyist a lot of money to get your corporation and uh, stuff the uh, way you want it, and the bills passed to support it and, and take a, uh, the working people's money and putting it up there like, the, you know, Amazon and... Uh, uh, Bill Gates and uh, George Soros and that bunch and uh, uh, Sukelberg and uh, all those guys and then they uh, pass those laws and then um, after they re the congressmen or the senators retire they go to work for that corporation as an advisor and just draw big money down and that's the way that circle works and that's my think thoughts while thinking 
and maybe rearranging some prejudices, but that's adios amigo, and we'll see you on the flip side.